Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our virtual college visit series. Uh, we have with us today Mr. Pete Lindsay from St. Bonaventure University that's going to share some information with us about the university. Uh, and then we, if you have any questions, certainly we'll have time for that as well. So with that, I'll hand it over to Mr. Lindsay. And again, Mr. Lindsay, thank you for being here with us today. Well, my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm always want to take the opportunity to spread the word about St. Bonaventure. Let me start with St. Bonaventure, the Atlantic 10 Conference and Tournament Champions, who are also in the NCAA Tournament this, uh, this year. Well, what you're looking at on your screen is St. Bonaventure University. We're located in Western New York, right on the Pennsylvania, New York State border, about an hour and a half south of Buffalo, New York. And uh, we're bounded by the Allegheny foothills and Allegheny River behind us. And east and west, there are two small towns within walking distance uh, of the university. So we're not in a large metropolitan area, but we're also not in the middle of the sticks. Right out front of the university, there are multiple hotels and most importantly, Dunkin' Donuts for sure. Uh, we are about, we are a private Catholic university but about uh, a third of our students are non-Catholic, about 2,400 students and a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. So your education will be very personal. You won't be in large lecture halls, but instead you'll find that faculty are available not only inside, but also outside of class uh, as well. Ethnic breakdown, we're about 82% white, 6% African-American, 6% Hispanic, 4% uh, Asian. And about 80% of our students are on campus resident students, almost a one to one male to female ratio with 52% of our students being female. Most important number on this uh, slide is that 97% of our students who graduate are either employed or in graduate school within six months. That doesn't happen by accident. We are really focused from the moment you step on campus to prepare for your career and graduate school. 90% of our students are involved in at least two of the following activities that complement your work in class. Internships, independent research or study, community service, capstone courses, or junior abroad where we have some 30 different colleges, 30 different countries, 60 different colleges. Some recognitions regarding St. Bonaventure, U.S. News and World Report ranks us the second best value in New York State, third best in the North. Princeton Review ranks us in the top 384 best college buys and Kipling Magazine top 100 best private university values. Full disclosure, one of my classmates is a editor for Kipling Magazine. A brilliant student, you would not want Janet in your class. She was a curve breaker, great student. This is a quick look at the 50 different academic programs that we offer at St. Bonaventure. Also uh, examples of some of the multidisciplinary special programs that we offer like bioinformatics, individualized major, um, nonviolence, et cetera. And also uh, combined degree programs that we have in the health professions for students interested in med school, dental school, pharmacy school, um, et cetera. What I'd like to do is give you some highlights by each particular school. And I wanna start with the School of Arts and Sciences, some of the rather unique programs, criminology, cybersecurity is one of the hottest programs on campus right now. We are the Center for Cybersecurity in Western New York. One of our alumni is a president of a company and that's where we house uh, the activities for our cybersecurity program. Behavioral Neuroscience, uh, a rather unique program uh, at St. Bonaventure. And the pre-med program is one of the exceptional programs at the university. The biology major is the single largest major that we offer at St. Bonaventure, and it's the foundation for our students who are interested in pre-med. 
We have uh, special affiliations with med schools, four plus four dual admission with George Washington University. They set aside five seats for St. Bonaventure University grads. And we're the only university with which they have that affiliation. You might be interested to know uh, that Dr. Kevin O'Connor, Bonaventure graduate and also graduate of George Washington University is the personal physician for President Biden. Also regarding pre-med, we have a uh, three plus four or four plus four dual admission program with Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. They set aside 10 seats for Bonaventure grads and you're exempt from the medical college admissions test, which is a huge perk for sure. I wanna talk a little bit about choosing a major. We have a special program called the Major Adventures Program, realizing that probably about 60% of students are either undecided or change their major at some time or another in college. The Major Adventures Program, students will participate in an online interest inventory called Focus Two, meet with career and professional readiness counselors, talk about majors, minors, double majors, what you can do with various majors, internship opportunities, preparation for interviews and uh, resume writing, et cetera. So I think we do a very good job of working with students who are undecided about choice of major. We also have an individualized major where you have not one, but two advisors actually create the major, name the major and do a brief research paper or a creative piece. It's for students who are very talented, highly motivated, want their fingerprints all over their choice of major and their program. And we think it's an exceptional opportunity for uh, particularly bright students. In the School of Health Professions, the newest uh, at the university with uh, options in health science, public health, and RN to BSN and nursing, the newest are the physician assistance program, which we began this spring, and the occupational therapy program, which will happen um, in the fall. We just put about $18 million into a brand new facility to house the health professions. And we think it really piggybacks on our strength in biology and pre-med uh, as well. In the School of Business, we are accredited by the Association for the Advancement of Collegiate Schools of Business. Only about 5% of the schools of business worldwide have that accreditation. So I think it speaks to the quality of the program. For our accounting program, you have a bachelor's and MBA in five years. And according to college, uh, masterfinance.org, it is the ninth best accounting program among universities of 3000 students. Also, the finance program is considered top 10% value in the country according to College Factual. Mass communications, journalism, uh, six different uh, concentrations, the newest being uh, broadcast journalism, strategic communication, sports media and video production. We are considered one of the top 50 in the country according to College Factual six Pulitzer Prize winners among our ranks. When you turn on the Today Show, it's produced by a Bonaventure grad. Turn on the sports show Outside the Lines, produced by a Bonaventure grad. Adrian Wojnarowski, NBA insider, Wojo, Bonaventure grad, and Vice President of Marketing Communications for ESPN, is a Bonaventure grad who gets our students six press passes to the Super Bowl each year which is a huge perk for sure. School of Education, according to the American Association of Collegiate Teachers of Education, the 25th most innovative education program in the country, up to a thousand hours of practicum teaching and observation experience. Just received a $1.2 million grant to infuse more technology into the education program. And within the education program, you can also receive triple certification for childhood, early childhood and children with disabilities. That's a little bit about some of the highlights of programs. Again, going back to our focus on preparing you to do well in the job search, we have a 
uh, special certificate. It's called the Competitive Edge Certificate, the Edge Certificate, with six different modules you see in front of you, networking, interviewing, personal branding, uh, et cetera, all in an effort to help you prepare for your career search and be successful. Student life at St. Bonaventure, very active place. About 80% of our students are involved in Division I club or intramural sports. And we have over 75 different clubs. Just a quick sample of some clubs and activities and things to do uh, at St. Bonaventure. What about an activity called volleyball? That is volleyball in a racquetball court. You can participate in an e-sports program, uh, a billiards contest and tournament. You can participate in our uh, concerts on campus. Uh, we put together uh, three or four different plays each year and also spring and fall concerts for our Glee Club and uh, concert band might be involved in ultimate frisbee, step club, um, medical emergency rescue team for students that are interested in the uh, medical professions, an astronomy club, mock trial, model UN, um, pre-law and pre-med groups as well, and um, may participate in the Buffalo Bills food drive, Buffalo Bills football uh, team food drive. So there are endless things to do. Uh, we have a first year experience that will help you not only meet with professional counselors to prepare for being successful in college, but also an opportunity to do peer coaching with your classmates who sometimes can be even more helpful to you because they're there as students. And as a result, we have some 84% of our freshmen who uh, are retained and go on to uh, sophomore year as well. Athletics, as I mentioned, we are a division one uh, athletic team and we're really proud this year. We are not only the Atlantic 10 season champions, but also we won the Atlantic 10 uh, tournament and we are now first round against LSU in the NCAA tournament. If you're not a division one type athlete, you may also participate in some 15 to 17 club sports uh, and also intramural sports as well. Service is just at the cornerstone of what St. Bonaventure University is like. I like to say it is in our DNA. You may be involved in Embrace at Africa where our students go to Uganda to help out uh, impoverished people or Enactus where our students do the same going to the College of the Bahamas. The program called Bond Buddies, we adopt middle school kids, serve as role models to them. Uh, recently brought a bunch of middle school students to the hockey rink to skate with the college hockey players. Well, if you're a middle school and you get a chance to skate with the big college hockey players, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, Bonner Responds is our way to help communities that are suffering from um, natural disasters. And finally, uh, the Warming House is the oldest student-run soup kitchen in the country. We have given thousands and thousands of meals to needy and homeless people. Uh, the president of New York State Special Olympics is a St. Bonaventure University grad, so we do a lot with Special Olympics. Recently, some of our sophomores shaved their heads to raise money for cancer. And uh, I thought that was particularly impressive that they were sophomores uh, doing that, raised more money than any of the other colleges uh, in the area. Residents life on campus were highly residential population, 75 to 80% of the students live on campus. So you won't find a situation where there are a large percentage of commuters that leave the campus uh, at the end of the day. And as a freshman, you have four different options to live on campus. And we also have learning communities. And those learning communities is our effort to bring students together that share common interests. Some interests like interest in the environment, community service, health and wellness, substance-free living, uh, et cetera. Great way to develop really close friendships very early on. 
By the way, you are guaranteed housing on campus for four years. Kind of related to that, I always remember that at St. Bonaventure, when you apply for a chosen major, by the way, you're admitted directly to that major. You're not just admitted to the university and then have to qualify later on to be admitted directly to that major. So uh, that's academic uh, regarding uh, housing on campus, again, guaranteed for four years. As uh, juniors and seniors, we also have apartments on campus available to you um, as well. You probably are laughing at the last bullet, it says free laundry facilities. That comes from a conversation I had with a student last year. She was really trying to figure out whether she was going to attend St. Bonaventure. Her burning question was, do we have free laundry facilities? And I said, yes, we do. And she attended St. Bonaventure, go figure. Admissions, we are enrolling admissions. We recommend applications if at all possible before Thanksgiving, either the Common App or the St. Bonaventure University App. We, uh, we are a test optional university. Um, if you are applying for scholarships, you should submit SAT or ACT, ACT scores uh, to us. Uh, we also give credit, of course, for AB and IP uh, exams as well. Average GPA about 3.3. SAT 1125, ACT 23. And again, we bring in students from some of some 25% outside of New York State, largely from the Mid-Atlantic and uh, New England areas and 24 different foreign countries among our student body. Scholarships uh, up to $25,000 uh, per year. And our total cost is about 50,135. But the most important thing to remember is when you take out scholarships and additional financial aid, our actual cost is closer to about 16,3, rather similar to a public university um, as well. And we also have a visit incentive program uh, up to $500 grant if you apply and visit uh, at St. Bonaventure before December 1. That's a quick spin through St. Bonaventure. Uh, I'm delighted to have a chance to speak with you. And if at any point you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, I'm always here to talk about my alma mater. I am, you can tell, not a recent grad. I'm a 71 grad. And by the way, that's 1971, not 1871. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. As always, just a wonderful presentation. Um, beautiful, beautiful campus and uh, just amazing, really academic programs and, and really many of the um, students that have gone on now are alumni doing awesome things throughout the country. So pretty exciting stuff that's happening there. There's no doubt. Um, well, uh, you know, I did want to ask one quick question for you. Um, so, and you may have said this, and I'm sorry if I missed it, but our students, so students are on campus now, and have they made announcements for the fall yet, or where are they with that? Yes, students are on campus. I think we're, we've done very well with COVID, uh, by and large. We laid out very clear guidelines and protocols, um, and by and large, our students have uh, participated in that. Uh, we did have early on some students that got together with some large groups. And as a result, they had to attend remotely. They weren't available to, to be on campus. But I think uh, one of the advantages of St. Bonaventure in the COVID world is that we're 2,400 students. We're not 24,000. We're also located near small towns rather than large metropolitan areas where people come in from every corner of the globe and the country as well. So we have been open from the start and continue to be open as well. Great, great news. Well, well again, thank you so much for your time today. We will definitely continue to stay in touch with you uh, and forward any students that have questions to you as well. So we appreciate it. Great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Take care.